shake your heads. I know you're watching. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. We do release a video or short almost every day. Hey, what's happening, Stinky Heads? How you doing? How you been? What's happening? What's happening? What's good? Hey, before we get this video started, go and give us a big thumbs up. We're trying to get this video to 100 likes. Come on, too easy. It's too easy. So today, we both rocking our jerseys. Yes, sir. You know, my team beat your team, right? Uh-oh. All right, then. Can we get into the weekly heat? <laughs> Can we get into the weekly heat? We ain't going to be talking about something that happened, hey, a couple weeks ago. We talking about the <laughs> weekly heat, baby. The weekly yes, heat, sir. my brother. So what we got going? So starting off, we got October 18th. We got those set one breads. This is a women's exclusive shoe for 180. As you know, as of today, 11 October, uh, Nike sneakers app did give us uh, exclusive access. Your boy got exclusive access. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, yes, sir. So we'll be an unboxing of that. I did. Mean, this is a women's shoe, so I did go ahead and select the size eight women's. Uh, unfortunately, for the big foot people, these do not come in extended sizes. So the biggest size in men's is going to be a ten point five. So unfortunately for you, my brother, you won't be able to rock these. So but let us know, sneakerheads. This is a highly anticipated pair. It does feature that satin on the toe box, black majority of the shoe has that satin swoosh, as well as that color block. And we all love as Jordan One fans that sat in the back. So let us know, sneak heads. Are you rocking these or dropping these? How about you, my brother? Hey, you know, all day, every day. I'm a one fan. So I'm gonna just keep it short and to the point. Hey, I'm rocking those. I'm rocking those. Yes, sir. What we got next, my brother? Hey, we got those Air Jordan 5 flag. These are <laughs> for the babies. <laughs> if you don't remember. Hey, check out that video right there, right? <laughs> right? It is for the babies, them grade schools, little kids, toddlers. This is a plaid Air Jordan 5. You know, out the gate, I look at this shoe and I'm like, okay, why would they have orange in it, right? Black, total orange. Then it made sense. Look at the shoe string, mm -hmm. the laces. So it makes mm -hmm. sense to where I can see where that Jordan um, was thinking, hey, tie the, tie, tie the orange in it and get the orange laces with, it's more, you got the, you got the plaid with the red and the green and gray. <laughs> It's a busy shoe. It's a busy shoe, but it is for the baby. So in saying all that, hey, I'm rocking those. I'm rocking those. Well, let us know in the comments, think he is. Are you rocking these or dropping these? As for me, I'm dropping these. <laughs> hey, I love the fives, but this flag got to go. I mean, it's too many multiple colors. I don't know if you're playing checkers or chess. <laughs> <laughs> hey, whoever made this and Jordan Brand needs to be fired on the spot. I'm sorry. <laughs> right. You got to go. So what we got next, my brother? So moving on. The 21st of October, we do have these Jordan 1 Zoom Comfort 2, Dia de los Muertos. That's called the Day of the Dead in English. This is something that Nike does do every year. I have been doing this theme for about three years now. And this is just the current iteration of this shoe. I do like this shoe. It does feature black and kind of a copper or silverish tones to it. This is the Zoom Comfort 2, unfortunately, so I do see this shoe sitting. And I do think it's a good uh, version of this. They're trying something new that I haven't seen on the Jordan. That's why I do like this. Now, keep in mind, I thought there was maybe an embossed, but they're saying that this is a stamp on the side. It does feature those flowers on the side, as well as the tote box. And it does have that faded around the collars that Jordan brand has done before. It does feature that embossed, embroidered on the back of the heel. I do think this is a good, clean colorway for the Day of the Dead. Uh, what do you think about these, my brother? This is, hey, Nike, Jordan, I know y'all listen to us and everything. Just give us a like. That's all we asking for. But this shoe here, <laughs> I see more of being like a, a a shoe of someone who ride a motorcycle, right? It look okay. like it's, it'd be nice in some jeans with a nice jacket. You know, if, if if Nike was really thinking on that level, because there's people out there that love to ride with J's on, right? So mm -hmm. Nike, whoever just come up with, with a toe to cover the toe, right? Riding your bike. But I see that more being that because um, I see the flowers in it. I see how it's fading into, and, and, and you know, it start off with how it darkens up and it lighten up. I can see that being more of a uh, motorcycle shoe because when I was riding bikes, I know I'm going on a tangent. 
<laughs> but in saying that, I'm rocking those because you know I'm a one fan. So, hey, yes, sir. thumbs up. And just an honorable mention, we do have two other Halloween shoes. I know we didn't plan to go over this, but I just want to mention them here. We do have the Nike Job One Halloween. Mm. This is a lime green version of his current model. It does feature some crazy neon green. This right now, this is reselling for pretty good. Like most sizes, one hundred and eighty to two hundred dollars and up. Uh, this shoe only retails one hundred and ten dollars. So if you're trying to flip these, I think it's good profit right now. You might want to take a chance on these. Also, we have Nike releasing the Nike SB Dunk High Candy Corn. This is a very unique shoe. It does kind of like fade and look like the candy corn the toe box is like white and then it fades into like an orange and the top of the shoe is yellow like a candy corn let us know if you are you rocking these or dropping any of these shoes let us know down in the comments so what we got finishing off my brother hey we got them almaneers right them jordan airship but the bad thing about that they only launching them on their website <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey that's that is true sneaker heads right there hey we're gonna launch a shoe we're gonna pair it up with the man with jordan but we only gonna launch a hey, our collaboration on our website so they yes, this is a man's pair asking price for those is 140 me being a ones fan hey i'm rocking those so what you think my brother i did think this was a clean pair as well i'll just go ahead and give those a thumbs up I'm rocking those. Uh, I kind of wish they would have did more air branding on this, but it is a very clean shoe. Does feature that H midsole. I think this they did a good job on these. Uh, I'm still waiting for the see how these blue pairs will come out. They, they are basically they already released and they're just switching the colorways on them, but. There's supposed to be a uh, royal blue and white one that looks promising as well. I like to see that in hand. So stay tuned for that. Hey, and if y'all continue to love content like this, hey, check out that video right there. And like we said for sure, when you're blessed, hey, bless others, babes.